So being in the studio for years, what were you doing to like pay the bill? I was working at a hair straightening kiosk for a month. I actually fried this girl's hair once. Do you know them? She's probably watching you, like watching your video. Oh, man, man, <laughs> that's the girl who burnt my hair. I feel really bad, so I'm sorry if you're watching this. And I hope your hair grew back. <laughs> From Amazon Music, it's The Walk-In, honey. Oh. Welcome to The Walk-In, I'm Mo Hart, coming to you from sunny Los Angeles, bringing you diamonds and dance floors, the one and only Ava Max. Ava Max burst into the scene in 2018 with her hit single, Sweet But Psycho, drawing in fans with her daring style and unabashedly pop music. With the release of her album, Diamonds and Dance Floors, she is showing her fans a new vulnerable side while always keeping them dancing. Let's go meet her and check out her closet. Oh my gosh, the million dollar Hello. baby! Ava, so good well, to see you! Hello, welcome. Mwah. Mwah. I live for the Versace shoes. Thank you. A little birdie told me that you only wear Versace shoes. Lately, yes, because they're the highest shoes I can find and I'm a short queen. <laughs> <laughs> I, live, I, live, I, live. I love this. You got it to a T. Okay, well thank you. You have a few fabulous garments that I want to maybe key. But before we do that, let's take some cool photos, okay? okay let's do it. For the gram. Ooh. Lovely. Okay, Diva, let's go check it out. Ava, 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 look at all of these fabulous things. Oh, I'm these having gone. flashbacks. I'm having flashbacks. We call this section the Fashion Rewind, where we get to know the stories and who you are before you became this fabulous ooh-ah-ah. -ah. You know, before we talk about the high fashion, let's talk about the low-rise jeans you used to rock Ooh. at Hollister. Let's forget about that. Really? You remember those that, days? That was my nightmare, wearing flip-flops and jeans. <laughs> <laughs> How long did you work there for? A day and a half. Really? I swear, well, the moment they said you have to wear flip-flops, I went back there and I looked at looked at my feet, all the clothes, and I'm just like, this is not me. Not me. So were you always a platform girl? Oh, always. Really? Oh, I was born in platform. I live. Okay, Ava, where <laughs> did you wear these garments? This was Maroon 5 Stadium Tour. It was made from the blondes. <gasps> I know, they're iconic, and they really know my body very well. They accentuated my my best with this. Yes. And she lifted the girls with this. They were so amazing to work with, so I love the blondes. Did they contact you? Did you contact them? I contacted them, and I said, hey, do you want to do my two looks for the stadium tour from Room I live, and they were like, yes. You were writing music at 14. Who were you thinking, this the young lady that you saw? I didn't really think about like what I would wear. I was always just wanting to sing growing up. Mm -hmm. But then once I started you know, dabbling in fashion and watching some fashion shows online, watching Beyonce perform. Right. I started realizing like, wow, their outfits are fire. How do I get there? How can I connect my music with fashion? So that's that's when I started. Cause you turn look. <laughs> like I went to the Instagram girls, look, 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 look. You just turn look. So when did fashion become or your passion? I've always had a sense of style, I guess you would say. Like if I was wearing something baggy on top, I would wear something tight on the bottom. So I would kind of like mix it, mix yeah. like feminine and uh -huh. masculine. I would always have that duality in my outfits. If it was kind of like harder here, I would still bring in the sparkle. Mm -hmm. I kind of like a mixture of influences in my style. Yeah. Tell me about this. This is by Michael No. I danced a lot in this outfit. Let's just say it helped with all the choreography, so thank you, Michael. But I do love all the change. What was going through your head when you wrote the song? What was your vibe? You could say I was torn okay. between my head and my heart. Okay, <laughs> boom. I was going through a lot of emotions mm -hmm. of just not knowing what to do yeah. with what my heart wanted or, you know, my mind wanted. And um, they kind of just made a really sexy outfit out of it. I think so. <laughs> it's giving me soft but badass. Yes, that's, again, I like to mix mix it. What is this? Oh my God, yes, so this here we is go. Hot. This is, oh my God, what's happening? One of my favorite outfits I've ever had. Yeah, made. this is hot. So, here we go. Here it is. Just a little crooked maybe, but Hello. this is, oh my God, what's happening? What was the vibe? What were you thinking? I, feel, I see fire, flames. Yes, yeah, so I was in the desert. Let me tell you a little bit about this video. I, <laughs> one, got sunburned. It was Ooh. so hot. It was like 107 degrees wow. in the desert. And I was on a truck going 50 miles per hour, being hooked on with this outfit and performing while I'm tied to this truck wow. so I don't fly off. Was it this costume or this? These pants, uh -huh. 
Not this top, actually, this was an extra top okay. that I wanted to show everybody. Number before seen. Extra, DM her, she may give it to you, okay? <laughs> you know, I got a little crazy, got on the driver's lap and made out with him in this outfit. The extra, I forgot your name, but. <laughs> Thank you, extra, for your services. This is a classic because when I was first starting out touring in the Sweet of Psycho days, uh -huh. I had this made and I wore this to every show and promo uh -huh. and it was freezing too. So I was like, oh, it's perfect. And it has my logo and people don't know my name yet, right? Like right. when Super Psycho came out, I didn't think people knew my name. So I'm just gonna put it on my that jacket bar. and wear it everywhere. What did you wear underneath? Sometimes nothing. Oh, word, I'm here <laughs> for that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I wore a lot, and I think it's classic. I love that you had the mindset to go, I need to let the world know my name, boom. No, but that also reminds me of all the hard times, like in the beginning, because I had never toured before, and it was just like going straight to touring from being in the studio for years. So being in the studio for years, what were you doing to like pay the bill? Okay, so I had every job under the sun. I was a nail receptionist. I wasn't that good, I was messing up everyone's tips. It was pretty horrible. <laughs> I messed up all the math. <laughs> and then after I got my first paycheck, they were like, you're not that good at this. I'm like, I actually have never done it before, but I'll take the paycheck and I'll never see you again. That part. And then I had another job. I was working at a hair straightening kiosk for a month. I actually fried this girl's hair once. <laughs> it was really sad. Do you know that she's probably watching you, like watching your video. Oh, man, man, that's, like, that's the girl who burnt my hair. I feel really bad, so I'm sorry if you're watching this. And I hope your hair grew back. <laughs> if not extensions, right? This is one of my favorite outfits because one, I was broke as fuck when I got this and I didn't have a stylist. I literally the cover for Super Psycho and I bought it at Topshop, yes. as you can see. It was like a whole DIY situation mm -hmm. and I was on my kitchen counter. I even like wore one heel in the cover and one pair of sneakers. Uh -huh. Like I switched the shoes for the duality, right. of course. I'll never forget this outfit because I didn't have money for a stylist or a photographer. I had like a timer, it was like a whole thing. So they were like, we need a photo. You were like, um. But we're not gonna pay for a photo because we don't have that budget because you're a new artist and we don't even know if the Sweet Psycho is gonna go big or not. So you just tell us what picture you take a selfie or whatever. And I went all in. I I, this is very Fifth Element to me. Very. Yeah, and that's why I picked this. And when I had the fitting for Naked, I saw this and I just thought, wow, this would go perfect with the orange hair. How did you get in? Uh, it took probably a good 15 minutes. Do they put oil or any baby? A lot, baby oil and baby powder. Mm -hmm. And then you just sweat. Oh yeah. My question is how did you get it off probably? I definitely deleted that from my memory. <laughs> the trauma. This one is also naked. As you can see, I love bikini tops. Mm -hmm. Those are the pants. And these are the pants. These are the pants for naked, yep. When you were in the kiosk, frying the girl's hair off, all of this, but writing music, putting in the work, what kept you going? I think just cause I feel like I was not good at anything else. Mm. <laughs> you know, I was just singing and writing music constantly. It was the only thing that I knew. Mm. And it got you here, girl. So I feel like it's a common thread and a theme going through your story where there's like always this duality, heaven and hell, diamonds and dance floors. I think I've always wanted to have my cake and eat it too. But very. I really believe you can. And I, I think you can always have it all. Mm. I've always been that optimist who was like, okay, that's why I had short hair and long hair for the longest time because I couldn't choose and I thought, why can't I have it both? I know I'm gonna get weird looks, but you know what? I'm just gonna do what I wanna do. But it looks good now, the little boom and a boom and a boom. It's like, right, it's like you're two different people yeah. at the same time and I think that. What's your sign? I am an Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> I'm an air sign, I flow. If you wanna go deep, my rising and my moon are both Earth, so I'm grounded in that way. I do feel like my whole life I've been torn with everything. I've just like wanted to do it all at the same time, and that's where the hair actually came. I love that, just really getting to like know more about you. All right, my dear, the Fashion Rewind was amazing. We got to know the history. Now it is time to push on to Fashion Forward. We want the new music, yeah. the new era, the new, 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 new. All of these are gorgeous. Okay, so first of all, I want to give you much, much props, because in this new era, you're so vulnerable. I write music as well, and so I totally know what it is to cathartically write it out, but to then let somebody else into that safe space. It has been very different writing about personal relationships, um, something I never thought I'd ever do mm. because I wanted to keep that separate, but when, you know, 
heartbreak hits, nothing else really in the world is on your mind except for that. So that when I was writing the album, I felt something else open up inside. I see life a lot differently now, and it is almost like a blessing in disguise. I love that. You grow stronger, so and much. you never even knew that strength exists. That part. Exactly. You didn't even know what it was until you experienced it. Right. It is, again, a blessing because I grew. I learned a lot about myself. I think the main thing we should all take away is perspective, having a different perspective, right, on whatever it is to go through it, but then to rise above it and then look at it and then to speak life to it. You did it, sis. Hey. So, so let's talk about your new album, Diamonds and Dance Floors. Is this what you wore for Million Dollar Baby? No, but no. I did perform Million Dollar Baby in all three of these outfits. This was a part of a European tour that I did. So this was NRJ France. I love this one so much by Brian Hearns, all of them. This is European Music Awards in Germany. Don't gush it. So much fun. And then this is Los Forty Spain. Hola. There she is. The stonework is, I mean, out of this world. They sketched all these out with me. We collaborated on all three. What was the vibe that you wanted to give, like, each? Three performances in two weeks, right? So I wanted them to be sisters, in a way. So I wanted them all to have glitz and glamour, especially for all the award shows. I really wanted to sparkle on stage, and I told Brian that, and he really just killed it. He totally did. So for Germany, I do see that you have these lovely platforms. Yes, and they match, and France and Spain had matching shoes, but I couldn't find them. These are custom shoes that Brian Hearns made oh, for me. Wow. So this was your last European tour. Please tell us what's the vibe for the new tour that you're on. The new tour. First of all, you have to come out and check it out. Deal. It's going to be a massive party. We're going to have so much fun. A lot of dance, dance party all the way through. And we'll be doing it in Versace platforms. Uh, most likely. Yeah. <laughs> Some kind of platform. Done. <laughs> Done. When did you decide that the max cut was like no longer the vibe? I had a new album coming and everything was brand new. I wanted a fresh start, a clean slate. So she is taking a break. She's sleeping. I She's chilling, you know. And in one of us, she came out of the grave a little. But do you shot. have the max <laughs> cut? Is that a wig or was that your actual hair? It was my actual hair. Really? And I wore a lot of wigs. You know, I feel like when you go through a breakup or just anything that's kind of like ah traumatic, the first thing most people do is cut their hair. Yes, so I cut the other side. Yeah! <laughs> and now we got a bob! Exactly, and then I had the red hair for, uh -huh. for a minute. Um, what was that vibe? Like, what were you thinking? I just wanted to change. I've always loved the color red, as you know, so I decided to dye my hair red, and it was so much fun, but it did get on everything. For sure, it does bleed. The reason why I changed it, I'm like, it was a bit too noticeable. I'm mm. like, I actually like to hide. Mm. <laughs> so. She comes out here and there with wigs, not with the red hair, but it was a moment in time. I love, I love playing around with different It is hair. the most creative. Like, you could just get to truly express yourself and go, I want to give this yeah, today. I don't want to limit. I don't right. want to limit what I feel. My dear, before we go, I would love to play a little game with you. So okay, well, come over here. The game is called This or That, Early Riser or Night Owl? Night Owl. Okay. Text or call? I'm a texter. Oh, voice memo. Oh. I love voice memo. But it gets on some people's nerves. And so that's why I'm like, I'll just go back to text. It. Night out or night in? Night out. Nude lip or red lip? Red lip. Unfortunately, I don't have it on today. Shopping online or shopping in person? Shopping online. I hate trying things on. Yeah. When listening to an album, are you a shuffle girl or are you a set it and forget it like you just listen straight through? I'm a shuffle girl. Yeah. I look at it and I'm just like, mm, this title looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same, 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 same. Do you follow your head or your heart? My heart, unfortunately, which gets me in a lot of trouble. You come out tender, and that's the, that's the other thing. Like, you're not jaded. No. Okay, you please, could be like bitter. Please, please, Lord, I you know. never want to be jaded. Oh, girl, here we go. <laughs> uh, short hair or long hair? Uh, long and short, sorry. I knew you were gonna do that for that so one. So sorry. And <laughs> lastly, diamonds or dance floors? Oh man, diamonds and dance. I knew, I knew you were gonna do that. I knew you were gonna choose. do that. Can't choose. I really love you now. I really love you. Look, this has been so amazing. You're amazing. Getting to know your story. Tell us like all the good. You know, you can check me out on tour. I'm literally on tour right now in Europe. First headline tour, or you can find me at your local coffee shop. Yes. <laughs> Are you a macchiato? No, no, no. I'm an iced latte girl. Okay. And I never drink the whole thing. Same. I just like holding it all day. It's yeah. a habit, uh -huh. and I don't know. I have issues. <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to our episode of The Walk-In. Be sure to listen to Diamonds and Dance Floors on Amazon Music. And then <laughs> be sure to catch her on tour and everywhere else. 
We'll see you next time. We're gonna go do what? We're gonna burn some more hair at the kiosk. Let's do it. Let's go do it. All right, bye guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Walk-In. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here and click right here to watch more episodes of The Walk-In. And you can click right here to check out my new album, Diamonds and Dance Floors, on Amazon Music. We'll see you next time, bye. Mwah.